People weirdly love to fight me when I say that I'm a visual learner because learning styles are a myth, and to some extent that is true. There is some research that says children will say I'm a visual learner because they don't like to read, but the reality is we need a whole bunch of different learning styles. We need to write, we need to read, we need to watch videos, look at diagrams, we need to do experiments. I think I actually have a really good example of this, so I'm going to physics you real quick. Stick with me, okay? We are going to talk about the double slit experiment. This is a very famous physics experiment that was first done by Thomas Young in 1810. And if you've forgotten all about this from high school physics, fantastic. You're going to help me prove my point. So the super quick explanation, and I'm deliberately not using my hands for this. You take a laser pointer or some small light source and you beam it at a screen that has two slits cut in it. And then behind that screen is another screen, just a solid wall. You would think if light was a particle that shining the light on those two slits, you would see the exact same light pattern on the back wall. But that's not what we get. What we actually see is a series of light bands. This proved that light is a wave because what we're seeing is the wave of the light beams refracting through those slits and the peaks and the troughs of those waves interacting are leaving the beams of light or the bars on the far screen. Did that make any sense? <laughs> if you are not in physics, you probably cannot possibly visualize what I'm talking about. But if I show you this diagram, doesn't it suddenly make sense? This shows the waves of light, where they interact, where they create those peaks that hit the wall and leave those bars on that back wall. This is a really cool experiment and sometimes just reading it or just hearing it is so hard to understand it. And you add the visual element and all of a sudden it makes sense. At the end of the day, visuals are just such a great tool to have when we're dealing with complex ideas or big science or something that is really hard to understand or at a scale that we're not used to working on. And ultimately, I just kind of wish we could stop telling people that their personal preferences are objectively wrong and just enjoy learning new things together.